Hi, my name is Naomi Stewart. I work with the City of Roswell. I work at the wastewater treatment plant and I am an assistant lab technician. We will start the day by going out and collecting our plant samples. This morning, whenever we started, we went straight to the return activated sludge, the RAS, collected a sample there. Um, and from there, we went to the basins, which um, it's somewhat of a holding tank for our solids. And in that area, um, our solids will get broken down by microorganisms. That's all quality control for in-house to see how our plant is running and how many solids are coming in and how many solids we have settling at the basins. From that point, we will go back to the headworks, collect our sample, which at that area, it's our first entry point of seeing what's coming in from the city. And then from there, we would go to our primary clarifier, collect a sample there. That is the first process of treatment, separating the water and the solids. From there, we would go and collect our last sample on the plant, and it's at the effluent. It goes through a disinfection process. We use UV lamps to kill any bacteria that may be um, going through there. We uh, don't use chlorine at our plant to disinfect. We use UV lamps, it's safer. That would be the last entry point. That's where we discharge. Um, we work off of two permits. So once we collect our samples, we begin running our test. We'll take temperatures on our carousel that we collect at our final point of uh, discharge, which is our effluent location. We will um, take temperatures on those samples and then we will make a 12-hour composite out of a 24-hour grab. And then um, we will start to uh, run our TSS on filters. What that test does is it um, will tell us how many solids are in the basins um, co uh, coming into the plant. It'll tell us what's um, being there at the primary clarifier, how many um, solids are there. And it also let us know what is exiting the plant, which is very important because we don't want a whole lot of solids leaving the plant. Uh, we have to stay within those guidelines that uh, are required of us depending on what permit we are on. So once we do our test, then we will put our filters into the oven and we will cook those filters for about an hour. What it's doing is it's burning off any organics that may be there. Once these filters are cooked, we will put it into a desiccator. So what a desiccator is, it cools down the TSS and it's a, a tight compartmentalized area where no um, airborne material can fall and land onto the filter to add any additional weight to our filters. Um, so once we get those cooled off, then we will go in and weigh our filters. Um, and then we have a second cook on our effluent filters that um, we need to cook for another 30 minutes. And uh, while that's being done, then we will volatize the remaining of the samples filters in the furnace. Our furnaces heat up to about 525 degrees Celsius. I think that Fahrenheit temperature, it might be around 932. So we also have a test that we do at BODs. It's a biochemical oxygen demand test. It's a five-day test. The initial process would be today, and then five days from today, we would go back, pull them out of our incubator, and do the final dissolved oxygen reading. And that is just letting us know how much oxygen is actually leaving 
the plant with the water that we are discharging. Um, we also will do a pH test to see what the level is on the pH out of that effluent sample that we are discharging. And it needs to be from a 6.8 to a 7.5. From that point, then we would also need to get a chlorine residual. Um, we don't run off of chlorine, we don't disinfect with chlorine here at our plant, but we just need to make sure that with the water coming in, we don't discharge water that may have any kind of chlorine. So that is more or less what our morning run looks like. Once we run those tests, we would go and collect additional samples for our midday run. So we refer to it mid as midday samples because we want to collect some of our samples at peak flow. Peak flow would be from 10 o'clock in the morning to one o'clock in the afternoon. So midday we go pull some other samples and we will test um, at the headworks. We'll go, grab a sample there and we will grab another sample at the primary clarifiers. And from there we will grab our final samples there at the effluent sample, which this is the location where we discharge the water after it's been treated. We will grab a sample to measure our dissolved oxygen that's in the water. And we also will grab a sample that will measure our nitrates and our ammonia. We also will run um, E. coli to make sure that there's no E. coli in our water. And um, if so, then we need to go ahead and get that under control and get it treated. So once we've ran all those tests, the dissolved oxygen, our E. coli, our pH, we test for nitrates, and we'll test for ammonia. I'm Naomi Stewart, Assistant Lab Technician with the City of Roswell Wastewater Treatment Plant.